Hello, this is Bibi Ramana, teacher in English. Welcome to Bibi Ramana English Grammar. In this video, I would like to share with you the topic conjunctions clauses. How do conjunctions influence clauses? Let us see. Right, before understanding the relationship between conjunctions and clauses, let us see first the meaning of a clause. A clause is a group of words which has a subject and a finite verb. Look at these groups of words. He was sleeping. She went to school yesterday. She had finished her work. They left for Delhi. He worked hard. All these groups of words are called clauses because they have subjects and finite verbs. Right. Now, a question is, how a clause is affected by the conjunctions? Look at these clauses. He was sleeping. She went to school yesterday. She had finished her work. They left for Delhi. He worked hard. Now, let us see how these clauses are affected when we keep some of the subordinating conjunctions. Before the first clause, he was sleeping. We have placed the subordinating conjunction while. Before the second clause, we have placed the subordinating conjunction when. Before the third clause, we have placed the subordinating conjunction after. Before the fourth clause, we have placed the subordinating conjunction as soon as. Before the fifth clause, we have placed the subordinating conjunction although. As a result of keeping the subordinating conjunctions before the clauses, all these clauses will be changed into subordinate clauses. Well, now let us see what happens to the clauses when coordinating conjunctions are placed before them. Here are the same clauses. And now let us place some of the coordinating conjunctions before them. So is the coordinating conjunction placed before the first clause. What is the coordinating conjunction placed before the second clause? For is the coordinating conjunction placed before the third clause? And is the coordinating conjunction placed before the fourth clause? Yet is the coordinating conjunction placed before the fifth clause. So whenever we keep the coordinating conjunctions before the same clauses, all these clauses will be main clauses. See the difference. If we keep the subordinating conjunctions before the same clauses, the clauses will become subordinate clauses. But if we keep the coordinating conjunctions before the same clauses, all these clauses will be main clauses. This is how the clauses are affected by the conjunctions. Right, now let us attempt an exercise. Identify the clauses with the help of conjunctions. In the first sentence, the clause he took an umbrella is called subordinate clause because it has a subordinating conjunction that is because before it. In this sentence, the same clause he took an umbrella is called main clause because it has a coordinating conjunction for before it. In this sentence, the clause he had not worked hard is called subordinate clause because it has a subordinating conjunction that is though before it. In this sentence, the same clause he had not worked hard is called main clause because it has a coordinating conjunction but before it. In this sentence, the children came out of the classes will be the main clause because it has a coordinating conjunction and before it. In this sentence, the same clause, the children came out of the classes will be the subordinate clause because it has a subordinating conjunction before it. In this sentence, the clause, she was dancing 
is the subordinate clause because it has a subordinating conjunction while before it. In this sentence, the same clause she was dancing is the main clause because it has a coordinating conjunction and before it. In this way, if a clause has a subordinating conjunction before it, it is called subordinate clause. And if a clause has a coordinating conjunction before it, the clause consent is called main clause. You have seen so far how the clauses are affected by the conjunctions. If a clause has a subordinating conjunction before it, the clause is called subordinate clause. The same clause, if it has a coordinating conjunction before it, it is called main clause. In this way, the clauses are affected by or influenced by the conjunctions. Well, friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel tapping subscribe button on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste.